Hi guys, Oliver here. Today I'd like to have a little tech talk with you. Um, keep it easy and simple. I am happy and proud to announce that I got my very first drone and it is the DJI Mavic Air. Well, at that point many of you may ask what the Mavic Air why is he talking about that little one um, which is on the market for quite a while? Why is he not talking about more newer or more advanced DJI products? Um, let's pick for example DJI Mavic 2, especially the Pro. I mean, what do we have? We have Hasselblad camera, we have a one inch sensor, we have longer flight time over the Mavic Air, we have an advanced transmission system with OcuSync. That's all true. but. There are a few reasons why I went for this model here. First of all, as I just said, it's my very first drone. At the moment, with everything new, I'm very enthusiastic about it. But I don't really know will that enthusiasm last all the time? No idea. Only time will show. The second reason, I mean, <clears throat> most of the guys out there are always talking about the latest gear, the most advanced, the most expensive stuff. but. Let's be honest, many of you, if not most, and certainly for me, money matters, doesn't it? And uh, because the Mavic Air is already on the market for about a year and a half, it is out at the retailers for pretty attractive prices. I'm fully honest with you, for me, personally, that was one of the reasons why I decided to go for the Mavic Air. But the third reason, and that is maybe the most important for me, before I do a big explanation, let me demonstrate you something. Let's assume I am out for a normal landscape trip. Okay, so I got my super awesome rucksack here and that needs to hold the gear. What gear do I have? First of all, obviously my full frame body with my wide angle lens, which I admit is most of the time attached to it. But I always carry my 24-70 with me as well and because landscape photography is not always wide angle very often I also have my 70-200 with me. It's a f2.8, it's stabilized, it's pretty heavy on its own. Well, then I also need obviously my filter holder and I need my filters And definitely, I need my tripod. I mean, for me, landscape photography without a tripod is a no-go. So, this is always with me. But, what if I would like to do, let's say, a time-lapse and parallel while I am um, taking photographs for that? Well, for time-lapse, I obviously need a second body with lens. I also need another filter holder. Yeah, and time lapse without a tripod, uh, you don't even need to think about that idea. Well, put it all on here. Okay, what if I want to do a little vlog again? Yes, this right, this video here is uh, filmed on another body, on my 70D, with another lens. Okay, in all fairness, I always have my phone on me anyway. Um, for vlogging, I could easily use that little gimbal here. But, I mean, looking at this, you're getting the idea, don't you? Let's put that out of the way. What has actually the biggest chance to end up in uh, my camera bag when it comes to additional gear? Exactly. The most compact and lightweight device. I mean, <clears throat> Now we're going back to the to the Mavic Air. Um, if you compare that to my hunt here, I mean, can you see it? It is barely as big as my hunt, and uh, when I fold it up, even front first, back then, and now really, it completely, it's completely hidden behind my hand. So it's really small compact and very lightweight and uh, that is actually the biggest difference because even when I have it in uh, the carry case it comes in for protection obviously I mean it is still very as comparison to my hand 
it is still very compact and small. So that certainly always finds a place in my rucksack, without a doubt. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to being compact, there are a few more details, like um, when we look at the controller, you see that the control sticks are missing. They're actually hidden inside. And I take it out and screw it in here on top. And you see, I don't have that extra height here for, for the transport. Don't lose it, it comes with spares, but I don't want to lose it. So yeah, it's all these little details that makes it actually a pleasure or very easy to uh, pack everything into my rucksack. There is one downside I would like to mention, and uh, because of the compact size, the batteries are always smaller. That means the flight time is roughly about 10 minutes less than the Mavic 2. Um, so we're ending up with a maximum flight time of about 20 minutes. Um, to make the most out of it, trust me, you really want to go or want to watch out for some spare batteries. And the ideal way for that is uh, to look out for the Fly More combo. It comes with that bag to show you everything fits in here, including the drone. It's not bigger than that. Um, it has in it the drone itself. It has the controller. It holds, well, one battery is in here at the bottom, the second battery, and a third battery. This is what I was talking about. So you empty the battery, just change it, carry on flying. It also comes with a power adapter, the charging device, and worth mentioning, that little guy here, the so-called charging hub. So you put all four batteries in, and you can also at the same time connect uh, the controller to the charging device so you charge it at the same time. What I was expecting actually is you connect actually everything and uh, it starts charging all together. It takes about four or five hours but no I was positively surprised. That little guy here must have some sort of electronics in it. So what it does it actually tests all the connected batteries first and it starts charging the battery with the highest charge first. Uh, first I was wondering why is that, but uh, the answer is actually pretty simple. It really enables you to get out flying again as quickly as possible. And I mean, while you empty the first battery that's finished charging, the others, or it changes, go, goes over, switches over to the next one, charges it. A little detail, but I think pretty nice one. Um, good. What does it do actually? So far, I said I am very enthusiastic. Unfortunately, time gets in the way. I don't have as much time as I would like to to fly my drone, but um, I have a little video prepared for you. It's a cut of my very first flights in the beautiful forest of Dean, um, around Mitchell Dean, where I live. Um, some of the locations are Canop Pond, New Fancy Viewpoint, and uh, Walgreens Lake at the Walgreens Nature Reserve. Why don't you lean back for three and a half minutes, hopefully enjoy the video while I am cleaning up this mess here. Enjoy it.
Well, as promised, it didn't take longer than three and a half minutes. That gave me enough time to clean up the mess here. I hope you enjoyed flying with me through the beautiful forest of Dean. If so, I would appreciate a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And we're at the end for today. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon.